Okay, you expect us to believe that Michael Jackson told you if we don't keep the ancient art from sailing, the world as we know it will cease to exist? Agent MJ, yeah. Agent MJ reporting. For Miss Castaway. For Miss Castaway. Castaway. This is only a test. My name is Commander Harry. They're on the set of Miss Castaway and the Iding Girls. Talking with writer, producer, director Brian Michael Stoller. This interview highlights exclusive behind the scenes footage to the King of Pop. On set, a gift, a special bonus, at the overwhelming demand from all the Michael Jackson's fans. Well, the film um, stars uh, Eric Roberts, who's an Academy Award nominee. The end of another shooting day. Wow, what a day. Uh, Charlie Schlatter from Diagnosis Murder. We are uh, scheduled to shoot over at Never Never Land. Hi! Joyce Gerard, I'm a big fan of your work. <laughs> are you on this picture? Um, Joyce Gerard, who was runner-up to Miss Universe. We've got Evan Marriott, who is known as the original Joe Millionaire. Stuart Hankin, famous character actor who plays Noah. We've got Douglas Dunning, I'm sure you've heard of him, who plays Harry. I think the, I've heard of him somewhere. The Commander, yes. Uh, Michael Jackson, uh, we spoof his role, uh, his cameo from Men in Black 2, where he plays Agent MJ. He is sent in a beam of light by the Pope to help um, rescue the castaways off the island. And he brings them information that they, um, you know, learn about Noah and the apes. Uh, in the whole situation. So he's, he's kind of like an Obi-Wan Kenobi character in the movie. Good evening, Agent Mike. <laughs> the Ark will sell for 40 days and 40 nights. You must stop it. But why? It's our only way off the island. You have to stop it, Mike. The best thing to do is to bring, the rather than bring Michael to the production, bring the production to Michael. So we actually took uh, the cameras and the lights and the mics and headed out to Neverland and shot it in his library. In the movie, we had to rotoscope um, Michael out of the library, his library, and make it look like he was in some kind of a special space void um, in the film. This is Agent MJ reporting. <gasps> it's Michael Jackson. Your castmate is telling the truth. If you do not destroy the Ark, then mankind will pay dearly for the consequences. Can you teach me how to moonwalk? Uh, as people know at Neverland, he's got, he's got the zoo and the trains and the amusement park and the animals. And while we were shooting, um, the little train was going around the property and so you could hear, you know, the toot toot of the train. Mm. So, the train. Oh, it's a train, okay. You have to stop. You need some WD-40 on your train. You have to stop. <laughs> Can you call and tell him? Um, is he going to keep going or is he just going to... No, he's going to circle around. Yeah, I'm going to tell him. I don't think we'll hear him. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to tell him. You can't tell him. The world is depending on you. I'm depending on you. I bought all your albums. <laughs> God bless you. Um, it was really important for him to understand you know, the, car the character, the part, why he was saying the certain lines, what had happened before. So when he comes back again, this is Agent MJ reporting, that comes back? Mm -hmm. That's the second time, yeah. Do you want to, let's do one with the sunglasses on again and take them off. Just do, this is Agent MJ reporting, and wow. then take them off. And then almost like you're looking at, a, you know, you're so looking down at them. So start this way again when I come back. Yeah, yeah. He took great direction, really, really fun to direct, easy to direct. And she's going, what are you talking about? Michael Jackson came to you and told you you have to destroy the Ark? She doesn't believe she doesn't heard that. Yeah, she thinks she's crazy. Yeah. Michael Jackson came to you. Agent MJ. <laughs> Agent MJ, a.k.a. Michael Jackson, came to you in a hologram beamed through the belly of your little mechanical friend there? Yes. And he told you to destroy the Ark. Exactly. So after she leaves, you come back on again after she's far away. She's gone, and you just sort of kind of teasing him, like, she's out of your life, mm -hmm. like that. And he's like right here. She's out of your life. And now you're trying to destroy the only way off this island, and on top of it, you're trying to impress me by telling me you know Michael Jackson? Yes! And it's Agent MJ. 
he's out of your life. This is the outtakes for Miss Castaway. <laughs> Tell me about They Cage the Animals at Night. Michael had a book called They Cage the Animals at Night, and, uh, written by Jennings Michael Birch. And Michael has wanted to co-direct the movie. So I actually wrote the screenplay, which we optioned to Icon, which is Mel Gibson's company. And at one point, um, Michael and I flew Jennings Michael Birch, the author of the book, They Cage the Animals at Night, who had a chance to come to Neverland and meet myself for the first time, and then of course meet Michael for the first time. Jennings brought Doggy, which is a stuffed animal that was his only confidant, his only friend while he was growing up. It's a very sentimental piece to him. I sat Michael and Jennings down and had Michael interview Jennings about his life story and about the book, which is a very, very touching interview. It's footage in a light that people have never seen Michael in, where he's actually interviewing somebody and not being the person being interviewed. I understand you. Thank you so much. Very much. Thank you. Gosh, what a beautiful story. Thank you, Harry. Thanks for sitting down with with me and uh, opening this up to the fans. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. And cut. That's a wrap. Okay. That's a wrap. That's a wrap.